Do you think that humans will make it to Mars in my lifetime? In your lifetime, yeah. So at the Planetary Society, you know, we had, we had a study done. We brought 70 people together, for, experts from around the world. And we could have, without increasing the NASA budget, and no matter where you are, if you're Europe or Japan or China, Canada, Australia now has, uh, officially has the Australian Space Agency. No matter where you are, NASA is still the biggest space agency. So what NASA does is still hugely influential worldwide. But we did a study where you could get humans in orbit around Mars in 2033 without increasing the NASA budget. You just got to agree to retire, have NASA not maintain the space station as solely in 2024, 2028. And the, we mentioned orbiting because that's how the moon was explored. Apollo 8 orbited the moon before Apollo 11 landed there. And you imagine you do the same kind of thing on Mars. When I say on, around. <laughs> at. <laughs> at Mars, yeah. And SpaceX too, right? Do you think SpaceX will get there before NASA, or do you think they're going to go? Well, I'll together, say, maybe. yeah. Well, everybody remember, SpaceX's business is selling rockets to NASA. I mean, okay, SpaceX is not its independent space agency. They sell rockets to NASA and communication satellites and other weather vendors and so on. But there, are, the guy's idea that he presented at the Astronautical Congress in Adelaide, Australia is to build a really big rocket, the big Falcon rocket. Big Falcon uh, the rocket. The BFR. <laughs> and uh, it's visionary. You know, the idea is that you, all the fuel would be methane, which would be made by reforming carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. OK. CO2 would become CH4. OK. Uh, to do that on an enormous scale is not so straightforward, but it's thinking big thoughts. And the idea is that one rocket would, do, would service all these missions, uh, searching for asteroids, going to Mars, flying from London to Sydney, Australia, would all be with the same rocket. Okay, bring it on. But somewhere along in there, somebody's going to be buying the rocket, and those will be space agencies at some level. So we'll see. Uh, I really hope nobody goes to Mars without first doing a really strenuous or let's say rigorous study or search for life. It would be a tragedy, a tragic tragedy of tragic proportions. Did I mention tragedy? If we contaminated Mars with earthbound microbes before we discovered Martian microbes, and then when we discovered Martian microbes, we weren't sure if they were Martian or earthbound, earthlings. That would suck. So I hope with this fantastic idea, we're going to go to Mars for a nickel and everybody's, there's going to be two chickens in every pot and we're going to sell tickets to 100 people who are going to go there and set up an economy in a couple weeks and live their lives. Before they do that, let us do a rigorous search for life on Mars. <laughs> <laughs>